So let's get started with our sun salutation. All right. So toes touching, heels touching. Good. It's okay to bend the knee. It's totally okay. You don't have to touch your forehead to the knee. If we have tight hamstrings, go ahead and bend the knee. It's no big deal. If the forehead doesn't touch the knee, I know the teacher says forehead touching the knee, fold forward, okay? And that's perfectly good. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Straight, you see the integrity in the spine? Straight, okay. This is why I don't know what to do with my feet. Okay, the top of the feet yeah, roll, like yes. And see how the shoulders and the wrists are not in one line? Right? Okay, you wanna keep the shoulders and the wrists in one line and I'll show you how. So go back into uh, plank pose. Okay, roll forward to the balls of your feet. Now bend the elbows. Keep your elbows hugging in with the body. And then from here, uncurl. If it's too hard to go from a 90 degree up, okay. you can bring your chest down. That's fine. If you want to start practicing, that's good. But you want a straight line. Still, your shoulders are over your wrist. Yeah. How do I make wanna over my OK, so when you go into plank pose, when you're in plank pose, your heels are towards the back wall. And you're in plank pose, shoulders over the wrist. Then when you go down for chaturanga, you want to roll to the toes. Then the shoulders are over, um, not in line with the wrist anymore, right? Then you bend, and then you come up. And then you go slightly back. So just make sure, for you, make sure that you're, yeah, good. And then come up, yes. So go slightly back. If you notice that your shoulders is not over your wrist, you have to, as you uncurl the toes, you go, yes. Keep that integrity of shoulder, wrist in one line. Good. Curl and lift hips up and back. Okay. So you can create a little bit more space here. The outer rotation, again, the thumbs neutral. The thumb slightly neutral. Very good alignment. Is her spine straight? Mm -hmm. Do you f and the heels. So for you, if you want to make it a little bit more, a little bit harder, or a little bit, you can always step slightly back more, and that'll create more uh, stretching. Okay, five conscious breaths, five ujjayi breathings here. Focus on your breathing. How is your breathing? Ask yourself when you're in this pose. Okay, very good. Tisha, no. Yes, <laughs> go and look forward. Uh -huh. You can step or hop. You don't have to. And then again, if it's too much to keep the fingers on the floor, it's okay to bring the hands to the shins. This is one thing that sometimes I see students not with, not with the fingers on the floor, with the hands kind of in the air. You want to bring your hands to your shins, if okay. needed. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take something from this workshop, give yourself um, permission for your sun salutations. Give yourself permission to bend your knees when you're folding uh, forward. Okay? You don't have to keep your knees totally extended. Even any time there's any issue with the lower spine, it's okay to bend the knees to come down. It's okay to bend the knees to come up, okay? So modifications, you want your spine straight as you're coming down. You want to suck your stomach in. You can place your fingertips on the floor. Bend the knee as much as you need to. Try to touch your forehead to the knee. If it doesn't touch, that's not a big deal. Lengthen, plant the hands. If you want to jump back, plant your hands and then practice jumping back. You use a little bit momentum. So you bend, place the hands on the floor, engage your core, inhale, jump. When you're in plank, it's a, it's a holding of the breath. Okay, so I'm holding the breath. Shoulders, I see this. And, and then if this happens, okay, the shoulders, 
coming in out to the side, not engaged. You want to draw your shoulders back and press down. And I also see this. And then I see up dog like this. What's the main thing that's wrong with this up dog? Legs are in the ground. Up dog is off, thighs are off the floor, knees are off the floor. If you're going into up dog, shoulders, wrists in one line, knees off the floor, top of the feet are on the floor. If you're in, you don't have to go again, make, give yourself permission, listen to your body, your body is the teacher. Um, you don't have to go into up dog. You can go into cobra, but just open the chest, keep the elbows in, look up. 